Sing, sing, sing. Many Singaporeans have heard about property upgrading, but should you? Is it just a marketing buzzword or is there really a real benefit to upgrading your property in Singapore? Today, we talk about the three main reasons why Singaporeans choose to upgrade and whether you should upgrade or stay put in your current property. Want to find out more? You've got to watch this. Hi everyone, this is Joshua Tan and welcome back to my channel. Alright, let's dive right away into the three main reasons. Reason number one, people choose to upgrade because they want to make money. Do you want to make money? Or is money making important to you? The answer may seem obvious, but the reason I say this is because there's a group of people who say, oh, money making is not important. But if money making is indeed important for you, then does making money every few years passively without you working for it, using your money to make more money sound like an interesting idea to you? If yes, then upgrading your property for investment may be a suitable move for you. To give you an idea of what property investment can achieve for you, here is a table. On the other hand, if you're a family feeling the space constraint as your children grow up day by day, a little taller, a little bigger, then upgrading for space may be your next best relief because our daily living space matters a lot. If we feel constricted, it's easy for us to feel irritated and all that. And if upgrading for space, you may want to take a look at the three to five beta apartments or houses. But of course, if you're going particularly for value, then the older HDB resale flats are a very good choice to go. Lastly, the reason people upgrade is to advance their financial position. And one of the ways this can be done is to sell off your current property and go for another property that is priced lower. This effectively allows you to use your current property to help you clear off your loan completely or if not a substantial part of it, effectively putting you in a better financial position. Now depending on your goal, if you're a property investor, then this direction of paying off your house loan may not be suitable for you. Alright, if you found this helpful, give a like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions or want to see some upcoming topics, leave them down in the comments below. This is Joshua Tan once again and I'll see you around.